Hey, so last time I went over my 2018 favorite reads of the year, and I said that I was going to show you 10 books that are at the top of my to be read list for the coming year, and they may wind up on the 2019 favorite reads list. So here are those books, and I'm just going to quickly show you what they are. If I can put them down without toppling them over. These are in no particular order, but they're all things that I'm looking forward to getting to. There is The Machinery of Life by David Goodsell, and this is one of two books on emerging uh, nanotechnology within biology. Um, that's one. Another is one of my favorite biology writers. I've reviewed one of his books before called The Vital Question. It's Nick Lane's Life Ascending, Ten Great Inventions of Evolution. Then there's this one which I started and I thought it was good on an important topic. Michael Pollan's How to Change Your Mind, subtitled what the new science of psychedelics teaches us about consciousness, dying, addiction, depression, and transcendence. Something to look forward to. Oh, yeah, one of my favorite authors, David Christian, who wrote a new book called Origin Story. This follows up his really wonderful book, Maps of Time, that was written, I don't know, 10 or 15 years ago that really introduced me to the whole field of big history, looking at history from the largest possible perspective, um, like starting with the Big Bang, leading up to um, all the large-scale forces of history leading up to the present day. So this one is Origin Story, a big history of everything, and I think he's talking about how big history really constitutes something of... Um, that's, that's akin to an origin story in the way that, you know, that the Bible may present its own origin story, but there's a secular origin story to be told here. I haven't read it, but I think that's what it's going to say. Um, and I don't know that he wrote this. This is probably something the publisher put on the bottom. So it's origin story, a big history of everything. And then there's a little blurb on the cover, from the Big Bang to the first stars, our solar system, life on Earth, dinosaurs, homo sapiens, agriculture, an ice age, empires, fossil fuels, a moon landing, and mass globalization. And what happens next? I guess we'll find out. Oh, man. This book has been on my to-be-read list for so long, and I pick it up, and it's great, and I just haven't mustered up the determination, which I'm sure would be highly rewarding for Steven Pinker's The Stuff of Thought. The blank state, I guess, oh, author of The Blank State, Steven Pinker's The Stuff of Thought, subtitled Language as a Window into Human Nature. And there's probably nobody more equipped to talk about that than Steven Pinker. A new book, uh, a new book about the uh, origin of life. It's called A New History of Life. Here it is, A New History of Life by Peter Ward and Joe Kirschwink, subtitled The Radical New Discoveries About the Origins and Evolution of Life on Earth, a topic near and dear to my heart. And then we have also on the same topic, I guess I must like this topic, David Quammen's The Tangled Tree, A Radical New History of Life. You have that one. Oh, I said there was another book on uh, nanotechnology. That is Peter M. Hoffman's Life's Ratchet subtitled, How Molecular Machines Extract Order from Chaos. That should be a good one. 
Oh, this one is not so new. The others were new except for the Steven Pinker, I think. Uh, and this one is maybe 20 years old. It's Pat Shipman's Taking Wing. It's uh, about Archaeopteryx, that famous early flying dinosaur. Subtitled Archaeopteryx and the Evolution of Bird Flight. And then the last one on this list of books I'm really looking forward to, and I'm especially looking forward to this one in the coming year, and that is this book. It's gotten a lot of play. It's it's uh, probably it's written by probably the the physicist writer who what would you say he's uh, well he's got a lot of momentum behind him at this point. A lot of people are reading Carlo Rovelli, and this book is Carlo Rovelli's The Order of Time which I think is going to talk about the whole question of the arrow of time and why things move forward, why you see eggs breaking and being made into omelets but you don't see omelets going back into eggs from a physics perspective and I think necessarily from a philosophical perspective too. So I am very much looking forward to Carlo Rovelli's The Order of Time and you may hear me talk about many of these books next year uh, in my 2019 favorite reads of the year unless it turns out that there are other things I read that I love even more than these books. So that's it for upcoming books to be read and be sure to subscribe. You can follow my Instagram. Thanks a lot for watching.